you think of the number of Aboriginal women who have been murdered or disappeared over the last 20, 30 years, whatever it is. I mean, how can you live with that as a, as a member of society? You, just, you know, just think of uh, wasp women disappearing. There would have been a bloody royal commission. Last year, Michael Velpe traveled the country to interview marginalized Canadians. Aboriginal women were one of the first groups he spoke with. He learned that Aboriginal women once enjoyed a high status in society. They weren't talking about contact as colonialism. They were talking about it as the whites arriving. And in fact, if they, and they were all males because they were the fur traders, and if they could marry into an Aboriginal family, they were marrying up because that gave them access to wealth, it gave them access to a huge amount of knowledge in the community. And if they were taken into the family of, uh, of an important Aboriginal leader, they had it made. Michael Velpe found something else. He found the church had a major impact on the way Aboriginal women were perceived. The Christian church in Canada, primarily Roman Catholics, Anglicans, to a lesser degree, some of the Protestant churches, about how the churches, the priests, demeaned Aboriginal women. How if uh, a woman uh, had children but no partner, they were excommunicated from the community, from the church. They were meant to feel dirty. And this was a sense of dirt that lasted so long as they were part of that community, and they had to leave. They were made victims of patriarchy, but it was, it was a particular kind of patriarchy. It was a, it was a church-inspired patriarchy and how religion made them feel so guilty about themselves and so worthless about themselves. Many of the personal stories Michael heard will haunt him forever. I want to go to Helen Betty Osborne High School in northern Manitoba. Helen Betty Osborne was a young Cree woman from Norway House who in the 70s was on her way to nursing school, bright future, bright, bright young woman, 19 years old. Four white guys uh, grab her off the street in their car and she's raped and murdered with a screwdriver. And it takes 16 bloody years for the RCMP to, to do a murder investigation, 16 years, and grab these four guys only one of whom's convicted and he gets a relatively short term. And you know, this is, this is my country. I want to talk to the young women, to graduates of Helen Betty Osborne School, and ask them how they see Canada and my Canada. And see what sort of social cohesion they feel with me, even though we occupy the same geography and then talk about having all these bloody equal opportunities. That's the next part.